Hi everyone. Our next assignment is called Excel 2019 Excel 1-1. I know it's Excel, but I just want to introduce to you the Microsoft Office Suite and how the the um the layout of the window is similar. So and is a much shorter assignment than the previous one. So go ahead and open the Word dash Excel. 1-1 at the bottom. Go ahead and choose open to open the file and you'll also have to enable the editing. It's um, from a safe resource and it is in green if you look at the title bar at the top and notice it's in Excel. I already named it for you but basically what I wanted you to see is not like a, a blank piece of um, paper like a Word document would be. There's all these little cells and um, they're labeled with column and labels A through and it keeps going and then the, the rows are labeled in um, numeral so one through and it goes on and on. I just wanted to share with you that this the similarity. So it's a different color, yes, but you have your title bar and you have your save, undo, redo, it gets with mouse touch, print and preview and print. Over on the far right again, we talked about this ribbon options and we have it on show tabs and commands. Minimize, restore or maximize and close. And then immediately below the title bar is your tabs. And again, file is if just like in Word. If you wanted to save or share or uh, print, you would come back here. Um, again, the home ribbon is displayed. That's the default. And the groups are similar. Uh, clipboard, font, alignment. Uh, of course, some new ones because we're in Excel. Number, styles, cells, and editing. And if you select a different uh, tab, insert, again it's related to every uh, topic that's related in here is goes back to the insert category and it's broken again into mini groups. And they also have that little dialog box launcher. So if I went back to home and if I click the one that we did in Word, it's similar where you would change the font type and style and size, color and so forth. There's your preview window. So again, you can select different, um, and they're they're not all the same. There's we did have file and home and insert, page layout in Word, but we didn't have formulas or data. Data we did have review and view. So there's some that are common and some that are um, different, and you'll see that also with PowerPoint because PowerPoint has slideshow. So we're just going to do a, a mini little version of Excel just to, sh to show you what it can do, how powerful it is. So I'm going to click in D5 and it shows by a green box around it. It also indicates here that I'm in cell D5. And I'm going to, uh, what I want to do is take the price of the, of the airfare times how many people? 15 people. Every formula in Excel must start with the equal sign. I'm going to click the 350. Uh, the asterisk is multiply operation and then I'll click C5 so it knows to capital to um, multiply B5 times C5 and then I'm going to use this check mark or I could press enter and the correct answer is 5,250 and you can see the formula at the top and I'm just going to hover to this little green box so if you move you have the open plus sign and I hover over to the little green box it changes to a thin plus sign I'm going to just drag it down and it fills all of them in then I'll click in D9 and I want a total of the airfare hotel car and meals and there's a button that'll do it for us quickly it's called auto sum so just click this button over in the top right and it already knows that it wants you to add everything above, which is a, uh, D5 through D8, and then just press Enter. And if you wanted to click in that cell, you would see the formula up here. So that's all I wanted to do is just to show you, you still navigate like you would in Word. There's still the zoom in and out. They also have the normal view page layout view and um, page break preview but we'll keep it in normal view and you're going to go ahead and click file and save this it already has a name save it and submit it thank you